Hello everyone, uh, my name is Moses and you're welcome to Stable Rock Farms. Uh, on today's episode, we are going to be discussing uh, the different types of vehicles that you use on your farm. Uh, depending on the type of farm you have, there are certain types of vehicles that you will need to be able to uh, operate uh, smoothly on your farm. Uh, this is uh, one of the topics that is not talked about much, but it's very, very important, it's very key. Uh, logistics is uh, just as important as any other aspect of your farming whether livestock whether crop whether processing whatever the case may be your product needs to be to be moved from one place to the other it could be from your livestock farm to the abattoir it could be from your crop farm to your warehouse it could be from your processing plant to the market either way there needs to be some sort of logistics ongoing so how then do you go about that this is what we're discussing in today's video um what vehicles do we use why do we use them if you see here there's one vehicle here there's another vehicle here and there's several other vehicles we use uh on our farm and that's what we're going to discuss now thank you we have five major vehicles that we use for our farm activities be it our livestock be it our crop farm be it uh, processing uh, these are vehicles that are used all the time and uh, that is what we are about to discuss now for the very first one which is what you see here is what we use mostly for our long travels be it delivery of livestock be delivery of crop or whatever it may be so anything that requires traveling a long distance, we use this vehicle. And the advantage with this vehicle is that it's very comfortable uh, for both the driver and whoever else is using this, this vehicle. And it's also very spacious. So a lot of um, produce or products in general, a lot of products can fit into uh, the, the vehicle. As you can see, this is a livestock farm and this is the inside of the, the truck. There is a lot of room for whatever product it is you're transporting to have a problem-free journey to its destination. On to the second vehicle. Uh, this vehicle does exactly the same thing as the first vehicle I discussed. The only difference is this carries uh, more products. So this goes a long distance, uh, but the advantage it has over the other one is it carries more products. The disadvantage is there's less comfort. So those are the major differences between the two vehicles. On to the third vehicle uh, at our farm. This is a multi-purpose vehicle that Honestly, it's a lifesaver for us. It gets the job done. Uh, it's very efficient, uh, very little maintenance on it. Highly recommended vehicle. There is our fourth vehicle, but we'll come back to it later. Let's finish talking about our third vehicle first. So yeah, as we were saying, vehicle is used for mostly our crop farm activities. Uh, Whenever we need to go to the farm, uh, all the items that are needed, uh, moving the people to the farm, the products, and all those type of things, we use this vehicle for that. Now, onto our fourth vehicle. Uh, this is our high luxury truck. And we use this truck mostly uh, when we have something important uh, going on such as meetings with clients or potential clients, uh, delivery to high-end clients, and things like that. You know, uh, you need to look presentable. There are certain situations that require you to look presentable when you arrive, and that is where this truck comes in. Obviously, when things like that are not ongoing, the truck is used just like the other first two trucks mentioned for deliveries and uh normal farm activities now let's discuss our fifth vehicle oh my goodness let me just say right from the get-go that this is the best most efficient most cost effective vehicle means of um, 
transport that you can get for your farm. As a beginner, if you cannot afford to splash on, on your mode of transportation, this is the way to go. This tricycle does literally everything for us. From going to the farm, going to the market, making deliveries, anything you can think of. And the best part is it requires so very little maintenance. So if I were to rank the five vehicles discussed so far, this is by far the best you can get for your farm, especially uh, a son who is just beginning uh, but desperately needs some mode of transport, desperately needs to own some mode of transport. Now, finally, uh, we can discuss a bonus vehicle. This vehicle is just one that you own as the farmer. The vehicle can be used for your day-to-day -day activities. It's, it's a business, right? You need to run the business efficiently. You need to run the business effectively. And if you can afford it, you need a vehicle that can move you from point A to point B. Now, if possible, you should get a vehicle that can be of comfort to you, but at the same time, be able to be used on the farm. The vehicle I use um, has a very wide interior and many things fit in there. The seats can be uh, rearranged to be able to stack a lot of items in there whenever the need arises. So uh, the vehicle works for me, but at the same time, the vehicle also works for the farm. So that's just a little tip uh, should you need one. Okay, now for our discussion, you have seen all the various types of uh, vehicles that we use. Uh, we use our tricycle, we use some trucks, uh, we use some... Uh, uh, personal vehicles uh, for, for myself, the, the owner of the business. So uh, you see that there are several different vehicles we use and you, uh, just as I explained in the video, why we use them. So um, I just want to point out that uh, uh, there's a lot ongoing in the background for these vehicles to be able to be operational. There's uh, maintenance, there's fuel economy, there's the driver that you, you need to pay uh, and things like that. So just make sure you put this into consideration when you are purchasing uh, a vehicle. Uh, and then uh, just a, a preemptive answer to maybe one of the questions that you may have. Is it worth it to uh, own these vehicles or to rent these vehicles? Honestly, uh, uh, I would say it depends on the scale at which you operate on your farm. If you operate a large farm like we do uh, with different components uh, such as livestock and crops and processing and things like that, you definitely need to own this vehicle. In fact, we have some other vehicles that we are about to purchase, right? Uh, these ones are uh, uh, just the ones we use for now. We have other vehicles that are on the way. Uh, and then there are others that have not even been mentioned in this video, such as uh, tractors uh, and the likes, and its implements and other things, right? These are just the ones that we uh, that are solely for movement of uh, products and people, right? Uh, uh, other machinery, such as tractors and the likes, will be discussed in a separate video. Uh, so for now, thank you for watching. We hope that you subscribe so that you keep getting more videos like this. Uh, and like and share as this also helps uh, the channel grow and uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon